for, uh, I know we've had a great lunch and uh, a great dinner rather, and uh, lunch dinner. And um, it's, it's great to have because this is a fantastic evening for all of us. And we now have to get down to business into the second half because we've got some great honorees and uh, we want to really get on to it. So um, I'm Rick Wall, I'm, I'm a CEO of Scotiabank, but most importantly for this evening is I am chair of the Catalyst Canada Advisory Board as well as being a director of Catalyst Inc. But to the Catalyst Advisory Board, and I think we have an almost total turnout of the advisory board, I personally want to thank every member of the advisory board, and you're all out there around there, uh, for what I think is very singularly and collectively a very active envir uh, environment of an advisory board. Uh, we've had a few meetings through the years. The turnout, you're all leaders of your organization, has been absolutely fantastic. And I know from Deborah and myself, we thank you very much because think of how far we have come in the last three or four years. And as Bill said, there was a little bit more than eight of us, but he's from Bank of Montreal. They have trouble counting, you know, so. <laughs> oh. There was 10. <laughs> Anyhow, but I remember, and, and Bill so magnanimously accepted the challenge. My people and I say it's an honor, but it's a lot of work. The challenge of taking our first dinner and from the first dinner, we go to the second, and we go to the third, and 700 people, leaders from all parts of industry and what have you, a million dollars to put towards research and everything that Catalyst stands for is a great tribute to, uh, to, to Bill as the chair, to the board of the advisory council, and um, to the goals of Catalyst is why we're all here. And I would just sort of like to say that um, you know it's been a quite an environment over the last several years for all of us in whatever business we're in never have we seen such uncertainty never have we seen such volatility and um, for leaders to think about very much not about only the present but the future and our future is always involved with people and when we start thinking about that and we start thinking about catalyst it already comes together and so I think it's something that this is very important, not just gathering here tonight to, to, to celebrate some very, very, you know, gr great uh, advocacies and winners of, of that, but to make it happen. And I'm personally proud because, of course, um, Bill and I are on the Canadian board, uh, pardon me, the U.S. board, and Gord and I and several of the others and financial institutions and all our partners and from from McDonald's to every, I'm just going to start naming names here and I'll forget somebody so I won't. Is, is how we in Canada, with a great American organization like Catalyst, are punching above our weight. And I see this all the time through my bank as I go around the world, how Canada is punching above their weight now. This room is no longer big enough to hold everybody we could have, and people are coming. And I think uh, we start to think why. And we got, I'm not gonna get into this a whole other discussion, why Canada is prospering why our financial sector is prospering. Well, we do some things right, we do some things wrong, but we do in Canada, we do within all our organizations, celebrate diversity. And I think one of the ways we do well is because we've recognized that from our customers, to our employees, to our managements, women do make a difference in our businesses. And I really think that as we go around and see that, that we can talk, that we have this great strength, both in terms of our internal employees, in terms of whatever, that we do uh, celebrate women in business. And that's why these honoraries tonight and whatever make such a big difference. And then the last thing I'm gonna say, because um, Catalyst does a very good job of keeping us on time, is that, of course, Deborah, who I'm introducing tonight, has already been eloquently introduced, Deborah has been, since I've been chairman of the advisory council, is the one, of course, that makes it all happen. And from the eight or 10 of us to the 700 people in this room for CEOs, it really is uh, people make the difference. And, it's, and Deborah and the staff of Catalyst, both here in Canada, both the staff in, in the United States, 
has made a difference. Not only has she made a difference as our Canadian leader, she has now been made the chief operating officer for Catalyst Inc., one of the greatest organizations both now not only in the U.S., not only in Canada, but globally. And guess what? The chief operating officer now global, uh, of Catalyst Inc. Is, is, is Deborah Gillis. So Deborah, on behalf of all of us, we're very proud of you. Uh, you're going to do a great job. I love it you're still staying here, but I also love it because you're going to the global stage. And that's what's important for us in Canada. It's important for, for Catalyst. And so on a job well done. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, Deborah Gillis.